Caution! A half Asian dude got too excited recording this video, cause he's a radius nerd, so some of his English might sound weird and loud. Please enjoy! Damn it, I don't need your protection. Of course you do! It's like my Uncle Kagi once said, with great power comes great big booty bitches. That is not what he said. He totally said it. He did not say that! Totally did. Why am I friends with you? VR game developers have a huge responsibility, because the VR game market is still in the developing phase, and it's in the developers' hands whether the VR market will grow or not. We need a kind of game that will make people want to pull out their headsets from their closets or, or even buy one and get hooked. And when someone who bought a VR headset asks me which game they should play in VR, Into the Radius is always one of the games I mention, because it has the potential to become one of the best VR games that could lure people into our VR world. I even posted a few videos of Into the Radius, which is the most viewed content for me. I'm getting to the Radius too soon, so hold on. The reason why I couldn't recommend the Radius one enough is because it has a very interesting storyline. You can see me? Hear me? Come hey. A bizarre atmosphere that makes you wonder what's going on. The action is crazy. Amazing graphics. Really good. And it also allows you to interact with many objects, like cleaning your gun, playing the guitar, eating sunflower seeds and spitting the shells out. I really hate you. Into the Radius matches perfectly with VR. The atmosphere is so weird in a good way that you can't even tell if it's a glitch or if it was on purpose. By the way, to the VR veterans, which VR game would you recommend to VR beginners? Please guide us in the comment section for VR beginners who might be watching. It's important for the players to feel the heart of developers. The game can't be half-assed. It should be done to the best of their abilities. And goodness gracious, they finally released a sequel to this game. I honestly was a bit terrified to play this game. I didn't want to be disappointed. It turned out to be... Nice. There are many things I'd like to talk about, but in this video, I'll tell you three reasons why you should play Into the Radius 2, okay? So the first reason, it's even cleaner and tidier in many ways. The enemies look juicier, like the crawling spider thing called Spawn used to look like this. And in 2, it literally looks like squid eating pasta with scissors in it. Oh. Your base looks more splendid. splendid. It almost feels like you're in a hospital. Oh. Seems like I can go up there. Anything here? Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, that looks cool. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that looks cool. The second reason is that there are more instructions so that you don't get lost. The map hmm. and the PC are very clear and helps you out a lot. I mean, the map in the first into the radius wasn't bad. Once you get used to it, it's fine, but the design felt a bit off. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an iPad kid. But maps should always be clear and easily understandable so that you can focus on your adventure. You try not to get lost, so if a map confuses you, well that has to be a no-no for new VR gamers. And the third reason is that the world is less depressing, because the last one made me feel more lonely, almost like I am legend without Sam, the poor doggo that made me cry. It's more endurable for a wider group of gamers because it feels brighter and you have this guy waving at you. Me? 
Wow. Oh, oh that's creepy. You're creepy. What's gonna happen if I go? Oh, jeez. They're gonna turn your neck. I actually have a theory about this guy. I don't want to spoil anything, but did you guys realize that this guy looks a lot like Explorer 61, the main character of Into the Radius 1? And in this game, okay. the main character is called Explorer 73. Also, oh. the white stature girl who you interact with in the previous Radius also looked like this. Interesting, huh? The brighter world doesn't ruin the atmosphere from the old Radius. It's still scary enough to make me say Jesus Christ many times. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. This is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. What did I say about jump scares? Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh, I thought I can sprint. What's that? Oh, Jesus! You also have a multiplayer mode, which I want to try. So if anyone is interested in playing with me, contact me through X or Instagram. There's one more thing I'd like to point out. The fact that this game is still in early access. It seems like they will allow mods as well. I also saw some glitches here and there. Yes, thank you, but I'm stuck. Quite glitchy, to be honest. But there should be more updates. So I definitely think you should give this a try. I'm grateful for your time and attention. I really want you guys to know the joy of VR games. You got to believe me like I believe you. Believe me, the man who believes you, the man who believes me. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next video about if sex mods are a possibility in Into the Radius 2. I hope I see you in the next video. Matane! Oh, what? <laughs> I'm a genius!